electricity meters. What we've got in this video today is the same make and model of instruments, but they are variants. The make and model of electricity meter in question today is the Sangamo Western S200.16. The one to the left is the clock dial variant and the one to the right is the Soclo dial variant. Really speaking that's the only difference between them. Although what I will say is although the Cyclo dial variant does have a different style of specification plates. I don't know if that style of specification plates was used anywhere else in the UK outside of London. It has been known that the type of specification plate seen on the uh, Cyclo dial, uh, not Cyclo dial, the clock dial variant of the S200.16 was also available on the S200.7 which was the instrument available before the S200.16 let's zoom in on them then and see the differences in the readouts as it can be seen then the left hand one has clock dials and can be a little tricky to read it takes a little practice Whereas the one on the right has a straight row of numbers readout and is much easier to read. A lot of electricity meter manufacturers did actually switch over to the cyclo dial readouts as can be seen there on the right. And as such it can be seen in this particular video that Sangamo Western started transitioning from the clock dials over to cyclo dials. And here we can see that the S200.16 was available in either clock dial or soclo dial. Earlier instruments were available only in clock dial and later instruments were only available in soclo dial. The earlier instruments include uh, HMT and S200.7 and later instruments include the S200.31, S200.38 and the S309.2, the latter of which is a dual tariff instrument with a white front case. The S200.16 instruments have a calibration period of 25 years. The one to the right does have a gold label on the glass there which indicates when it was last recalibrated and it, this one was last calibrated in 1992 and if it's got a calibration period of 25 years then that calibration is due to expire in 2017. There it is little gold label the top of it has started to peel unfortunately but the, the uh, majority of it remains attached to the glass they cannot be peeled off because when you peel those off the there's a certain part of this uh, of that label which remains attached to the glass uh, I can't remember if it's the black part or the gold part but when you peel it the part of it remains attached to the glass thus it prevents the label being peeled off and attached to another electricity meter or time switch or any other piece of equipment. First service dates. On the clock dial variant then you can see in serial number there it says S65A. The 65 denotes the first year that the meter was calibrated and put into service. On this one then, two years later, in 1967, the cyclo-dial variant came into service with the one that you see there up in front of the camera. So as we can see there then, 
one model of electricity meter going through a transition over from clock dial to cyclodial. Like I say, there were models of meter previous to those that were available in clock dial only, and then models of meter after these, which is available only in cyclodial. It can be said that the at the history point in Sangamo Western, it was the S200.16 that went through the transition period from clock dial to cyclodial. A little bit later on, we'll be doing more electricity meter videos, but for now, thanks for watching this one.